What's up guys, my name is Noah, I make music as Haterade, and you are watching The Productive Producer. Vital is becoming a very popular synth. It's free, it's accessible to pretty much anybody. You can go out and download it right now. It's sort of like Serum in a lot of ways. Today we're going to be making this synth in Vital. But before we get into that, be sure to go down and check out my finishing music checklist in the description of this video. It is absolutely free. And check out the Discord. We're hanging out there. I'm going to be dropping the preset from today's video in the sample drop section of the Discord. So go check that out. Let's put the headphones on and get into this patch. So here is the Vital patch. If you're wondering why my Vital looks so different, it's because I'm using the new Echo Soundworks Vital skin. It's totally free. It's in the description of this video as well. Let's break it down. Let's listen to it one more time. Listen to a solo. So let's go to the first layer here. The first wavetable is the Squish Flange wavetable. You can find that in the Glork Glunk folder. I believe this is a factory folder here. We have the wavetable position right here sent to LFO1. And the next part of this sound is the sine wave, which is kind of the base, the meat of this thing. We have the wavetable position also going to LFO1 there. Then this is where it gives it the tone, this, this guy right here. We're using the pulse width wave. And by the way, this is the vital sine wave. So each of these are set at negative 24 semitones, which is two octaves down. The sine wave is down three octaves, and this one is just down one fifth, which gives it that sort of housey tone. All right, let's jump into the unison section here. We have 14 voices on oscillator one. We have five voices on oscillator two, and we have the unison detune at 4%. And then we have this guy, the harmonic stretch. I have that set to LFO two, I believe. And this is set to go to cycle through every eight bars. So you can see, watch. That, so that just sort of cycles through gives it a little bit of movement there. Okay, up here at the envelope, we just, it's nothing too crazy. We have the release bumped up a little bit. That gives it a little bit of tail. And we have, instead of having the, the sustain all the way up, we brought it down a little bit and reduced that decay to make it feel a little bit more percussive. Uh, but we're not done with making it more percussive. We want to, we, we have a filter down here, which without the filter... Sounds a little noisy for me. So I brought that filter there. We have the LFO one set to that cutoff there. And I brought the I brought the resonance all the way down because I didn't want that sweepy sound. And then the last thing we added in was a top kick. I grabbed this top kick sample from the cashmere pack, but you could use pretty much any any sort of percussive sound here. I wanted this to add to the transient factor. Can hear it gives it that little bit of punch there at the top and we brought that down negative 12 as well okay let's flip to the effects section here we'll turn off the effects first one distortion we have this one mapped to lfo4 taking it from a lot of distortion to less distortion really fast and it's getting kind of it's kind of loud and aggressive but the compressor is going to tame that back a little bit then we have a chorus which we got the filter set up so we're not getting any of the the chorus on the low end there just the highs and high mids then we have the compressor. I didn't even touch any settings here, just left it at multiband. Okay, and then we have the EQ right here, which I have the LFO4 mapped to the gain on the high EQ here. So I brought it down a little bit and watch what it does here when we have when that LFO4 triggers it. Again, just accentuating that transient factor. Then at the last part, we have the filter, which is just a low pass. One thing I did on the back end here, I took LFO5 and made this one really, really fast and brought it up all the way and switched it to global voice transpose. You can hear what that does. Again, adds to that, that percussive sticky attack sound that we're after here. And that's essentially the base. We don't even have any post-processing on here, which we could, but I wanted to keep it all contained within Vital today. So here it is in context.
Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, consider clicking like on this video and subscribing. I'm uploading every Friday and Tuesday. Going to be doing more sound design videos, more producer mentality videos, just helping you guys out become better, more effective producers. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.